welcome back to another vlog i'm on my way to the train station um i don't have class this early in the morning it's a wednesday so my first and only class of the day is at 1 p.m but i do have a tour to give at school that starts at 10 so i need to go now lately the train has really sucked and it's been late like almost every day and i have early classes most days of the week or at least i have to be on campus pretty early like what tuesday through thursday and it will literally come like five six minutes late on a consistent basis and i know that doesn't seem like a lot but like if i have a class at 9 40 and the train says it's coming at 9 20 and it takes me 15 minutes to get to campus okay that's good but if the train ends up coming at 9 26 and it takes 15 minutes i'll get there at 9 41 and i'm already late for class i was watching a tiktok of a japanese exchange student in the u.s and she was saying how it's like really taboo okay not taboo but like it's really rare that like the public transport will be late and if they are it's like a big deal and i was like not in chicago <laughs> Excuse me. I just finished giving a tour I didn't really film much during it just because like it's kind of awkward and it was a group of juniors in high school so I was just like let me just focus on this tour I thought I was not gonna be able to give this tour because on the train today some guy was acting like a nut he was acting like a complete nut he kept trying to smoke cigarettes on the train and I have asthma so every time like I smell cigarette smoke it literally makes me nauseous but i was like honestly i don't care i just want to get to where i'm going he kept smoking though and the train conductor kept coming out and yelling at him and he was like i've been telling you not to smoke on here this that and the third i'm gonna call the police if you don't stop i'm not moving this train until i get a response <sighs> can we just go when he said that it was like 9:50 and i was supposed to already have been at school but we had been waiting for so long for this guy to stop acting up and i think he was like fondling himself at some point and then he was trying to flash like it was crazy i used to say that the red line which is like basically the chicago equivalent to the subway i mean there's multiple different lines i shouldn't say that the red line is just like the more popular chicago line i used to say that was really calm and that it wasn't as crazy as the New York subway. But today and yesterday were insane. Like yesterday, a guy threatened to stab another guy. I don't think I'm gonna be taking the brown line or the red line anymore. I think I'm gonna be taking the brown line. The only bad thing about that is that it's further from my apartment and it takes longer. But you look good. You look good. Right now we're in the arts I'm and letters. Crisis. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to her. But right now we're in the arts and letters center, and Can I say yeah. So, uh, um, was it December thirty first? No, not December. Was it um, October thirty first? What? October thirty first. What happened on October thirty first? Halloween. We're not talking about that. Okay. Canceled, canceled, you're canceled. <laughs> you lost your privileges of being in the vlog. But right now, also we're just. Crazy. You did. <laughs> you did. That was classified information that you did. But um, right now, we're in Arts and Letters. We're waiting to go to class. Class starts in like 30 minutes, so we've been here for like an hour. I, mean, I don't even think we've really done anything. <laughs> okay, there's that. But right now, I'll show you guys. I'm working on this application, basically what it is. I'm just like writing the essays here and then I'm gonna like paste it onto the actual application. But I'm kind of behind on a card? lot of stuff. There's three, 250 words. For this internship, three um, essays? How much, do you know if they take a lot of people? I don't know. She just gave it to, she just gave me the, the application. 
but yeah i'm applying to it now i still have so much work to do like and I don't think I'm going to be doing much work today because after my class, I have to go straight to mentoring. And then after mentoring, there's a basketball game that I'm going to because I promised a friend that I would go with her. So tomorrow is going to look like it's going to be a study day, but I'm just going to try to write a little more of this essay right now. I just have one more left that I really need to write. Right now, we're at 102 words out of 650. So we're going to try to get to like... 300 400 right now obviously they don't all have to be 650 words but i mean the closer you are to that number the better so, so we're just gonna go around and have to be in like the picture I just wasted my time right after class going to the Dunkin Donuts underneath the train station at my school. They used to do like this $2 thing where they would um, like from 2 to 6 you can get a $2 iced coffee or iced tea of any size but they just said they discontinued it. What? Like I was going to go get one and then go to mentoring but it's no longer a thing so i just wasted my time it's whatever i mean maybe another day when i feel like spending that money i will but i need to get to mentoring before they leave me this today is all about uh just get to parents and just the kids so just like what you guys need to do um you can take this time out if one of your mentors parents come by Talk to the mentor's parents. If you need help with that, I can help you out with that. If you want me to start the conversation, mm -hmm. I can bring you all over there. That's, that's one of the things I like. Now I can listen to them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, spit out chicken right there, and I'm gonna make a salad for my mom. Oh, you're gonna make a salad for your mom? Are you putting it in the chip bag? My mom. Yum. So she can have flavor. Then she can Yummy. Then she can fall. Then she can fart. Sounds like a good time. So I'm back home, but not for very long because I'm about to go to a basketball game. I decided to go with one of my friends because DePaul is playing, I don't even know who. So we're gonna go to the game. She's supposed to be back by now. I'm gonna like actually call her right now because um, the game starts at 7.30 and it's 7.01 right now. But I just wanted to check in after mentoring because I didn't really feel much of that. It's just kind of like intimate and granted we did kind of have like a goofy day today, but you know the kids are in middle school i just don't want to really like get them on camera and stuff and i don't want to like record certain things so sorry there wasn't a lot of footage of that but that was really fun we got food i got to see the mentees after like two months of being out of school so it was really good to see them again and i'm excited to go back next week but i think i'm gonna just call my friend right now and then i'll head to the game and show you guys that with my friend laura <laughs> or i should say chidinma because we have the same name but we're about to go, actually let's cross with these people. Right? We're about to go into the stadium, Wintrust Arena. That's where the Paul plays. We just, ooh, the wind is windy. Here's the stadium. Student entry. 
We're on the escalator. El el no, what? The el escalator. El Most packed I've seen a game this year. No, literally. Like, and that says a lot because there's not like that many people. <laughs> Paul actually wins this week because they lost last week. Do you guys know where Xavier is? Where is Xavier? Ohio? Oh. <laughs> the student section, guys, is on the other side of the stadium, but we're not going there because it's always really tight and it's like it's blocked by one of the uh, baskets. I'll show you guys. That's the student section right there. As you can see, it's super packed. So we just decided to sit here and yeah, we're gonna watch the game from here. It's almost like having front row seats. Like we're only three rows behind like the little like cut off and then obviously there's the front row seats, but I don't care to be that close to the players, so. No comment. on the wrong side because there's a lot of Xavier fans around us and we're just not about that vibe. I think we're in the wrong side. Aw. Look, they're clapping. What? We're in the wrong side. Look at the super <laughs> 11 to 3. Oh my gosh. Not us getting. Come on, we need some we need some shots, y'all. We need some shots. Oh my gosh, this is the first time number 23 is in. Oh, I've barely been seeing him play. Who did they take out? Oh, they took out yours. Alright, the score is definitely getting better. It was really bad before, but they started to come back. We finally tied! Hey, period! Yo, it's getting so real. It's getting real. Wait, this guy just stood. Oh my god! Buses. Great game, but it's time to go home. It's currently like 10:45 in the night. I just got back from the game. We took the shuttle from the arena to Lincoln Park campus, and then my friend and I had to take the train back from Lincoln Park to the loop. So it's been a night. We did win that game, if you guys can tell. It was only by one point, though. Honestly, like, I always feel really weird rooting for the DePaul basketball team because personal beef, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm wearing a DePaul shirt right now. Anyways, I'm going to start getting ready for bed. I just wanted to kind of pop in and say thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Plus, turn on post notifications to be notified each time I post a new video. I'm trying to be more consistent in the new year. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.